Just want to do a quick video on the uh, hack we do with the Milwaukee Battery M12 so we can run instruments. Race Geek D10 and other ones. What we do is we take this USB charger before people used to use the battery, the flashlight, and take the flashlight part off. And now they make the USB, USB part um, so you can charge your phone. Here you see a close up look at it. See it clicks in there. Has a USB drive right here. Um, tells you if your battery's charged and what the level is there. And then has an, a port right here that we need. Uh, battery wise, you can use the 2.0 version of the M12 lithium, which is plenty enough to power it for a day or two days or more. Or if you're worried about power and using it for something else, the 4.0. Or if you want to be safe, you can take one of each. Um, here's the standard charger. That you can get all this is fairly easy to get this is a, a race 10 a race geek d10 cord that we have wired into this so you can see here we've soldered directly in so with the race geek you have the gray and the red going into the red and the black positive negative uh, if you use just a regular wire so if you're going to add a speedo or anything where you need a bus then you'll do regular wires in and then you'll go to a bus and then you'll attach the cables to the bus. Um, but here you see um, that's the port we go in through here. And you'll see basically it's broken off right there. And we just break it off and leave it the way it is. I've added tape here. Makes a difference just to give it you know, a little tighter fit so it won't pull out. Um, you could try to do a zip tie all the way up, but it's not really necessary. Just make sure this is nice and tight. And then once you're hooked up, you'll put your battery in and out of this cradle like you would uh, normally. And that'll give you power. And then you can click here. And that'll give you your, uh, your readout of whether you have battery life or not. So it's kind of nice. So all you need for this whole setup is this product, whatever cable you're going to use, whether it's the one directly to a, a D10 or just a power cable with a positive and a negative. You'll have a charger that you'll need for when you charge your batteries. You can get either the more standard battery that comes with most of the tools or the upgraded battery. We've always used the Milwaukee brand uh, just because we think it's a better quality. Um, Tool-wise, you just need the T10 Torx. Um, just a, a, a knife or a razor blade to get that little tab up to be able to pull the clip off and then your soldering gun and everything you need for wires to strip the wires and that's it hope that helped uh, check out sale22.com for more information if you need a race geek you can buy them there if you need other instruments let us know thank you